Welcome Trolls. <laughs> There is no devil, only bad people. And if you want to beat the devil, you gotta fight fire with fire. These beautiful, stunning images of suns in the constellation of Lyra and elsewhere in constellations, planet Venus, are all images that I've captured myself by doing it through my telescope, my infrared cameras, and through my own initiative in researching and doing work in science. I found a large planet going by the sun. Uh, I spotted this planet for a long time. I spotted it going by the sun, then it got smaller, and it left going, leaving past the moon on uh, a bright moon night. And that's what we're going to look at leading up to that video that I showed you at one point that there was a planet. I've been researching this, guys. Then I caught this object that was beside the sun, beside the moon, same object. NASA and the news media will mention this and incoming objects from interstellar space and low Earth orbit, but many months after this. So there it is. You can see the um, on the bottom, the chimney on the right, the bottom, bottom star is Venus, then the moon in the center, which is so bright, it's, it was only a crescent yesterday, and it's, uh, it looks like it's full. Uh, over top is Mars, that I got a good shot in the video yesterday, I was really happy. But to the left, I'll bring the mouse up. I don't know if you're going to see it, not yet, but don't worry, I'll get in and show you and we'll enhance this photo. purple asteroid or planet with Mars over top the moon in the center its planet to the left and Venus over here by the chimney top almost all out of the yeah, horizon Mar but what is this there it is guys that's the planet right beside the moon I'm, I'm not kidding you and again Mars was over a hey, look I enhanced the photo and did you see the stars come out these stars weren't even there. Look at all the stars that are in the photo. So this is the moon. That's how enhanced it is. Look at the planet that's beside the moon, guys. This is not infrared camera, this is a regular camera. It's the first and only large object I saw and here beside the sun with the polarized filter, we could see that the sun has an object or two going by it. Let's head over to infrared a little bit. As we wait for Atlas's flyby and then another flyby, Will it fade out? Will it explode? It is getting dimmer, they say. Some have even said that it fizzed out. They're not talking much about it. Nor are they talking about the James Webb Telescope. Here are two UFOs, uh, different complete trajectories, one going downwards, one going left, crossing paths. Why do they spray over top of the sun and also at night over top of the moon? Why in that area? Is it for the ozone? Are they hiding asteroids? Are they hiding UFOs?
Seeing a UFO beside the moon during the day in the sun is near impossible and clouds really don't help it. But I still caught one.